there are times when we're looking at the graph of a function and we want to uh, talk about some of the characteristics of that function. And one thing that we might want to discuss is where the function is actually increasing, decreasing, or perhaps constant. When we look at where a function is exhibiting those characteristics, we think of it more in terms of, as I'm reading along that x-axis, what is happening to y? And that's what we are discussing. What is happening to y? Whether y is increasing, decreasing, or staying constant. So let's look at kind of an interactive figure I have here. And I want to scroll a point along this graph and show you what is actually happening. So here I have a point, and I'm going to slide this point along my curve that you can see here. Now I just told you that as, as x is increasing, what we're determining is whether the y value is increasing or decreasing. So I want you to pay close attention to this y value in my ordered pair as I slide the point along. Here it's at 14, and I'm going to try to do this slowly. <laughs> and now I went all the way to uh, y being 5. So I'm going to go back just for a second. So it's at 14, my y value is at 14, and as I slide this along, you can see the y value is decreasing because now I'm at 6 in this where I stopped. So from 14 to 6 is obviously decreasing, and it's sliding along this curve. And you can see that it's about to change. So here I'm at 3.9, and I'm going to go along, and I get low, and then I start to change and increase again, right? So there's a point over here, which would be kind of the minimum value, in which my y value is going to stop from going, uh, stop from decreasing, and then it's going to change direction, and my y value is going to start increasing. Because notice that here I was at 3.14, I get to a bottom, and now I'm going to start increasing again because I'm at 3.95. And I, I hope that you can see that as I'm sliding my point along here, everywhere that I slide it along this portion of the curve, the y value would be increasing up to a point here again where we change direction, and now my y value would be decreasing again. So when we talk about increasing versus decreasing and, and again, constant, we are talking about, we are referencing where the y value, what effect is this happening, having on the y value as we move along the, the curve. Now how do we write these values when we determine it? Um, and that's what we're going to do here in this example again. So let's just take a second and let's look at the picture that we, uh, the graph that we are being shown here. We have three choices here that could be on the graph. We have an increasing area, right? Increasing meaning where my y values would be increasing in value, and the increasing portion would obviously look like we are incre like, um, increasing going up. We have decreasing where my y values would be getting smaller. And then we have a constant where, again, talking about y values, where do the y values stay constant? If we look at the picture over here, notice that as we move along the graph, as I move along this graph right here, if I were to extend that line out, I would be moving along, 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 and my y values in this stretch are staying at 2. So although this has an arrow indicating we would be coming along all the way from infinity, negative infinity, I suppose, uh, all the way up here to this point, we can see that we are constant in its um, for the y value. So I'm going to put a line right here. Now if you look at this next segment of the graph, it looks to me as if this is decreasing. And in fact it is, because here at this point I am at 2 for my y value. And then if I were to go down here, I would be at 0 for my y value. And then I would be at negative 2. So that's obviously decreasing, because my y values are decreasing along that segment. The last portion of the graph is this right here. You can see that if I were to follow this line along and go on forever and ever and ever, the y values of these points would always be at negative 2. So this is, a, this is going to be a constant section. So how do I write this then? Well, first of all, let's start with increasing. Nowhere in here did I say that this function was increasing. I have constant, decreasing, constant. So NA for increasing. But what about when we refer to the section of the graph that is decreasing? 
the section of the graph that is decreasing is in between these two blue horizontal, I mean these two blue lines that I've drawn. We are decreasing from negative 4 to positive 2. And that's exactly how we would write it, from negative 4 to positive 2. We write it in terms of x, although the definition is, uh, or what we're interested in, is in terms of y. So the interval on which the function is decreasing occurs between negative 4 and positive 2 uh, on the x-axis. Notice that I did not indicate uh, brackets or parentheses. Whenever you're doing interval notation, it's always parentheses. Okay, and now let's talk about where the function is constant. So we said over here that the function was going to be constant, where it's the straight horizontal line. The constant value would be coming in up until I got to negative 4, right? Because we're writing this in terms of x. And then again over here we have another segment of it that would be constant um, over here pat on the right hand side of my blue line and we need to write it in terms of x for that segment as well so where is this thing constant it's constant from negative infinity up to negative four and it's constant again from two to positive infinity and because this goes on forever, that would be positive. In, uh, that would be positive infinity. Again, notice that we are not concerned with brackets or parentheses. It's only parentheses when you're referencing interval notation. So this is how we're going to look and determine increasing, decreasing, and constant. Again, one more thing, one more time. As we're reading along the x-axis, it's the y values that determines increasing, decreasing, or constant.